Hello and welcome to the Clinical Radiology Department. You're viewing this video probably because you have an appointment for an angiogram at the hospital and you'd like to find out what's likely to happen when you arrive. Well, first things first. We carry out x-ray examinations like the one you're about to have many times every week and we understand you might feel a little apprehensive about it. But don't worry, it's a very straightforward process and you'll be well looked after while you're with us. The first thing you do is to find the X-ray department reception desk and let us know you've arrived. The reception staff will invite you to sit down in the waiting area until you're collected by one of our department staff. We'll just take you up to the nurse's station and then we'll go over the details there. Okay. Right. A bit scared about this. Yeah, have you had it done before? No, never, no. but I've read a bit about it. It's fine. You'll be taken to a small ward where the nurse will ask you a few simple questions about your medical history. During this, she'll take your blood pressure. She'll also want to ensure that the person coming to collect you when the x-ray is finished knows where to come. Yes, yeah, told her. Yeah, she dropped me off. Yeah. You're then left to get changed into one of our gowns. It's not absolutely necessary, but it would be helpful if you can also remember to bring a pair of slippers with you. Once you're ready, the doctor who will carry out the procedure will come to say hello and discuss what's involved with the x-ray. Uh, I've been asked to uh, perform the examination with the doctor about your blood vessels and I'm the doctor who will be performing the procedure. Uh -huh. So what we're going to do is take, uh, take some pictures of your blood vessels and to do that we need to put a tube into the vessel at the top of your leg uh -huh. and from there we can inject some dye and the x-rays will then show up the blood vessels. At the area that I'm choosing we'll freeze the skin with some local anaesthetic. It's just like having an injection perhaps at the dentist. That may nip a little bit, but once it's in, it should be frozen up for you. So it's not going to be sore? It should be a little bit uncomfortable when we put the local anaesthetic in, but after that it should be frozen. That's if it is at all uncomfortable, just let us know. When we get in a position to take the pictures of the blood vessels, we inject the dye, and that will give you a very warm feeling inside, and maybe perhaps down your legs. And then after that, if we're, when we're happy with the pictures, I take the tube out of your leg, we press on it when you're on the table, just for five or ten minutes to stop mm -hmm. it from bleeding. Mm -hmm. And then, once we're, we're happy with that, we'll move you off the table around here for a couple of hours of bed rest. Mm -hmm. Now, I need to talk through, because this is not just a simple x-ray, it involves the injection of dye and a tube in the leg, there is a downside to it. In other words, there are risks attached that we have to talk about. Uh, the major risk is that going into the artery, we make a mess of going into the artery, mm -hmm. that could leave you with a small bruise, or worse than that, needing an operation to have that fixed. Mm -hmm. um, it's a small risk, but it is something that we're mindful of and careful about but we can't avoid that particular risk in this procedure. But the importance of getting the pictures of your blood vessels, we think outweighs that risk. Right. All right, okay. that's the main thing. Okay. Thanks Is that all right? Much, yeah. Okay, well, I'm just going to ask you to, to sign this bit of paper, have a chance to read it through, and if there's any questions about it, just uh, let me know. So there you go, if you okay. have a look, that's just got your name at the top. This there. is just a consent. That's right, that's consent. the consent that says you're happy right. to have okay. the procedure done today. That's fine. Right, and I'll just sign that as well, just to say that's done. Good. Is there anything else you'd like to know about? No, no, right. that's fine. Okay, thanks what we'll do is we'll just get you through shortly. Right, Good. okay, thanks. Sir. See you shortly. Okay. After the discussion with the doctor, you're taken to the x-ray room. It may seem a little daunting at first, but don't worry, it's very safe and you'll be in good hands. To have the x-ray examination, you'll need to lie on a special table so that the x-ray machine can move along your body and take the images. The radiographer will explain how you can help to get the best images by controlling your breathing during the scan and she'll explain that when the special fluid, the contrast agent, is injected into your artery, you'll probably feel a warm sensation like a hot flush passing through your body. You may also feel like you're passing water, but don't worry, you aren't. It's simply an effect of the contrast agent and the feeling will pass in a few moments. Just above your head here. And when we're ready to take the pictures, this part of the camera will come over your tummy area here. Okay. And then it will fall all the way down your legs. Right. 
hand, okay? It doesn't touch you, but it does need to come quite close to you. So it will come quite close to your tongue. And I'll be giving you some breathing instructions. I'll be asking you to breathe in, breathe out, breathe in again, and hold your breath. But I'll go over these instructions when we're ready to take the pictures. Okay. What you really need to do is try and keep your legs very, very still. And the radiologist probably explained to you about the warm feeling you get when the dye goes in. Mm -hmm. And it is quite a real warm feeling. It's like a hot flush feeling. Yeah. It passes all over your body, but it's only there for a few seconds. The other thing you may experience is if, if you might think that you're passing water. It's only a sensation that will not have happened. That's, okay. that's it's important to tell okay. people about these things because they do okay. get worried. Yeah. Okay. okay, we've just got a few things to get ready and then we'll get started. Right, okay, okay. okay. thanks. You're then prepared for the minor surgical procedure that the doctor explained earlier, where a tiny tube is passed along an artery so that the contrast agent, or dye as it's often called, can be introduced at the correct so point. Started, we're going to start up by just freezing up the skin. Okay. okay. Thank you. That's fine. Okay, Julie, that's fine. We're just going to get ready to take the pictures now. We're going to bring the camera over the top of you and then we'll get ready to inject the dye. All right, that just comes close. It shouldn't touch you there. Good, and we'll just connect up the pump now. The tube is connected to a pump that the radiographer can control from her desk. So the pictures now, so this is when you get the warm feeling okay, that we mentioned to you earlier. Okay, I want you to bring your knees together and your toes touching. Now, this is when we need to give you some breathing instructions. We need to ask you to breathe in, breathe out, breathe in again, and hold your breath. And that's when you get the warm feeling that we explained to you before. Okay? Right. Just nice and still now. Okay. Mrs. McClay, we're about to take the pictures now. This is where I need you to keep very, very still. Breathe in and out. Breathe in again. And hold your breath very, very still. Excellent. As the images are being taken, the doctor monitors them to ensure that they will be helpful in reaching a good diagnosis. The whole procedure doesn't take very long, and all you have to think about is to follow the radiographer's simple breathing instructions. The images that are taken will help the medical team understand the way that blood is flowing through your vessels and allow them to reach an accurate diagnosis of your condition. Right Trudy, that's us finished. I've just taken the tube out of your leg and I'm going to press on this for 5 or 10 minutes to stop it from bleeding. How did you find that? It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. It wasn't sore at all. Good. It's always better afterwards. Yeah. What I'll do is I'll have a close look at the pictures and then send a report to your doctor. Um, that'll basically say that you have a little bit of a narrowing in the artery and that we need to think about a treatment for that. One of those treatments might be coming back on another day and having an angioplasty or a balloon to stretch the narrowing up. Right. Would that sound okay if, to you? Uh, I wouldn't be quite so scared. Good. Of what you're doing. Excellent. Well, that's fine. I'll just press on this now and that'll be done. Within a few minutes, you're taken back to the nurse's station for a couple of hours of bed rest. That's your two hours up now. Okay. okay. What we'll do, we'll get you sitting up just now and then get you a cup of tea. Okay. All That'd right. Be nice. Do you want to sit yourself up? Yeah. I'll pull a cut and then you We'll put your back rest up for you. What do you take in your tea? Just milk. Please, just milk. Thanks. I'll just yeah, that yeah. That's great. You're nearly ready to leave now, and the person who'll be collecting you arrives. But before you go, the nurse will have a few final points that she wants you to know. What you'll need to look out for after your angiogram is you might have a wee bit bruised in your groin. Okay. 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 Some people do, some don't. Avoid any strange activity for 24 hours. Mm -hmm. Okay. So don't go for a long walk or anything like that. Warning signs to look out for are maybe blood oozing from the site or any swelling under the skin, which means you could be bleeding. Okay. But it's very uncommon. But we'd just like to tell you just in case it happens. Okay. You just okay. lie down. You apply pressure and then. Your sister's in, and she would phone an ambulance. So here, okay. phone the hospital. That's grand. That's how you have to have somebody at home with you. But that's rare, though, isn't very it? Very rare. Yes, yeah, very yeah. unusual. But I say we'll give you this just in okay. case. All right. That's great. There Thanks you go. very much for everything. Yeah, you'd be glad to leave. You're a bit more relief yeah. now. Yeah, <laughs> a bit better now. There you go. Right. Thanks very much. Nash. Okay. Thank you. I've got right. the hardest right. out there. The specialist will examine the images taken during the angiogram, and a report will be passed on to your doctor.
So that's it. You can go home now. But please remember to bear in mind the notes on the information sheet that the nurse has given you and take it easy for a couple of days. Our aim is to make your visit as comfortable as possible. If there's anything you'd like to know, please ask any of our staff and we'll be very happy to discuss things with you. We're looking forward to meeting you.